Uh, thanks for watching. Um, here's a new video for you guys. Um, wanted to go ahead and continue with our uh, Michael Hampton method. And in this video, I'm going to be going, I'm going to be going over the pectoralis major and the trapezius. Going through the gesture, volume, shape on both muscles. And just a little warning, um, there is going to be some nudity um, towards the end of uh, these lessons. So um, just be prepared for a little bit of nudity. So here is the, the pectoralis major. The muscle pulls the arm forward across the chest and rotates the arms medially. So these these two chest muscles are used to help propel our arms forward and around and backward. The description of the muscle's action is what you want to look for when deciding that CRS curve, uh, which again is the basic gesture to the muscle. Um, it begins on the medial half of the clavicle or clavicle. Along the length of the sternum, the sternum, and across the cartilages of the first or seven ribs, inserting into biceptual groove on the front of the humerus. So it goes across the first six or seven ribs. Um, and the shape is the shape. Uh, re resembles a fan or half of a fish or you could even say a glass turned um, and it can be simply um, thought as as a small box or rectangle sitting on top of the rib cage the shape will change when the arm raises let's go ahead and, and, and draw these shapes and then uh, we'll get into um, some some reference photos to draw from an actual uh, human and apply it, these, these methods. So what I'm going to do is um, go ahead and draw these shapes as a reference point. I have um, some vine charcoal I'm using, and then I'm going to be using a, a charcoal stick. It's like a 6B. And then I have a, uh, a soft charcoal pencil, which is a, a 4B. So I'm going to go ahead. And also I have my um, sandpaper. Um, and also I'm also going to be showing a really cool trick I learned from um, Steve Carpenter with these, um, these this paper towel. See these ridges? It's going to create like a cross hatching. But we'll get to, into that uh, farther down. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take uh, my vine charcoal and just go ahead and start drawing in the shapes that we learned from previous uh, videos. There's your center line. There's your clavicle. You can draw the neck that he has here. Go ahead and do some wrapping lines. Uh, get points for our arms. And so we have our clavicle here. Our sternum. And our first six or seven ribs. Let's go and draw some ribs in there. So he has it. There's like a... Um, fish or the half a glass or the fan is right here. And then we'll draw this over here. that in. 
And that is our shape, which he has right here. And it could be like a glass or a fish. Um, do another one on um, this time, like a three quarter view. Do our sphere, clavicle, do our neck. Arm. Okay, we've got a center line. So let's go ahead and draw like our seven ribs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here it's like a box shape. Going across to here. And then this is going under like that. And then we can go in um, when the shape changes. So here he's got like a side view. Got clavicle, doing neck shape. I'm going out. Okay, and then do our ribs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then do our clavicle. And it goes across like that. And then he's got this. Um, this shape is will change when the arm raises, showing the tail of the goldfish wrapping or becoming elongated. So this would be our fish. And when it stretches, it stretches like that. So it'll go from this to that when it stretches. So we'll go ahead and draw our shape, sphere, clavicle, sternum, the rib cage, ribs. So much like the box we did here, it's going to stretch out. He's got his cylinder shape for the arm. And then this retains its shape. Now here he's got the S curve and here he's got the C curve. So you got to stretch and then your pinch, I believe. All right. So now that we've got that squared away, let's go ahead and take some pictures of some actual humans and apply this to the pictures. Again, I'm going to my vine charcoal. And I'm going to go ahead and do my gesture. Let's do it down here. Okay, so here's my gesture. And we're going to find out where pectoralis uh, start so it looks like our fish shape starts here and it comes up here like and then it's here it's um, symmetrical so we have our shape here and our shape there um, now, um, I just want to show you this really cool technique 
that I learned from uh, Steve Carpenter that it, that's really, I mean, I love how easy it is to just to do some cross hatching. So this is like a Scott's towel, Scott's paper towel. And as you can see, it's got like these ridges. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this up. So I have this side folded over and I'm going to take my um, brick charcoal and I'm going to put it on my sandpaper. Get some nice, some nice powder in there. I'm going to take this, I'm going to dip it in, dip it in. Um, so I have going across, now watch this, this is really cool. I'm going to go across the form. I just created this really cool um, cross hatching effect. And then what I can do is I can go in and do some like highlights. <laughs> it's a really awesome kind of way to uh, to do this traditionally. I mean, digitally it's different, but um, so that's that's our first um, our first uh, example. Let's do another one. Okay. So this one. Go ahead and do our sphere, do our center line, uh, do our clavicle, uh, our sternum, and our ribs. Okay, so here it's, um, it looks like you have this stretch going on here. So we'll go ahead and draw that stretch. And it's coming up this way on both sides. And let's control our neck. Um, go ahead and use our effect. Dip it in and go across the form. And then we can highlight it. Like so Okay, let's do another one. All right, got this one it's from this view. Uh, so there's our sphere, our center line, our clavicle, sternum, rib cage, do our ribs. Uh, the direction of where the arm's going. Okay. So here, again, it's, it's doing the, this shape here, this, this, the fishtail on this side and then on this side. Go ahead with our, our new technique we learned, go across and then do some highlights. Now we can, we can go ahead and turn it into like a 3D form here too. Like that. Okay. Okay, and then we have this one. It's kind of like... A clavicle. We're just going to do the half one here. So this is this is where the fish fish comes in. I don't see the other one, but we can go ahead and we can do that too. Uh, across the form and just do some highlights there. Let's draw the neck just to. Uh, Clarity. Okay, next one. Okay, now this one is the female form. So let's go ahead and look at what he's got talking here on the female form. Now here he's talking about um, this diagram shows the changes of an anatomical shape and areas of fat 
to create the female body type. And remember, um, there's a diagonal um, point to remember. I learned this from Bern Hogarth. So let's do this. We're going to go ahead and look at, we'll go ahead and draw our sphere, center line, clavicle. Okay, we'll do our chest. Like, like, so there is our um, pectoralis muscle. Now, what Bernard Hogarth does and what uh, I believe Michael's doing is you draw a line going this way. And then this is where you determine where the breast is. And then you draw your breast. Same here. Pectoral is going this way, and then that is our breast. Now, we've got it's a little, it's a little muddy here. Let's go ahead and, and use our technique we learned. Right across the form, highlights, highlight, highlight. All right, let's do another one. And then um, here is just a straight on view. Center line. Your cage. The arms are going this way. And the pectoralis is right there. Then we diagonal lines going from the sternum to this this end point. Draw the nipple and the breast. Go ahead and do our tail technique and little highlights. Okay, um, so that's this. That is the pectoralis major. Okay, now uh, we're getting into the trapezius muscle, and the trapezius rotates, lifts, and pulls the scapula. And the scapula is this bone right here. Um, its origin is from the base of the skull, and the trapezius inserts along the third lateral. Cool, the along the third lateral of the clavicle. Okay, so the third lateral is, I believe it's um, around the end of the scapula. So it's our scapular handlebars. Um, and the shape is uh, that of uh, an upside down dagger. Um, the top of the handle of the dagger is the portion of the muscle inserting the base of the skull. As wings of the trapezius swing down the top of the scapula and, hand, and the handles of the dagger can be seen. When the muscle pulls to the point of the spine, the blade of the dagger can be seen. Um, and then the volume is, um, should be shown moving across major forms as it rests on the head, neck, scapula, and rib cage. Um, Will be affected when it's, the shape is stretched or pinched. Um, can also the trapezius can also change movement or activity. Um, notice how the trapezius uh, pinches when the scapula moves closer to the spine, uh, like here. And um, conversely, when the scapula pulls forward, the movement of the arm, the trapezius is stretched and shown as thinner pulling across the rib cage. Additionally, the shape of the trapezius can be altered to suggest gender type or character. And he's got some examples right here. All right, so let's get into this. The paper I'm using is a um, packing paper. 
that you can get at any um, hardware store. It's pretty cheap. But it's um, not on a carvel, so it's going to deteriorate during. Um, but it's great to learn on. It's just nice to pay for it. It's really cheap. Okay. So the gesture. Um, so we'll go ahead and draw our sphere, center line, the scapula in the front. Go into the points for our arms. And it's, um, it rotates, lifts, and pulls the scapula. So it's like an upside down dagger. At the top of the dagger is like a diamond shape. So that's the shape. Let's try doing a gesture. So that'd be like kind of like a gesture. Right? So let's try this shape. Let's go to our sphere. Um, this is our back. This is our neck. Um, let's go ahead and do the clavicle from the front. It's like we're looking in. And um, so that's the neck. That's our dagger. Like that. The kind of divides right there. Uh, it looks like it's, in that drawing, it looks like it's kind of pushed up. But there's our scapula right there. Our scapula shape. And then he's got the wrapping lines. Let's clean this up a little bit. So wrapping lines go around like this, and then wrapping lines go thusly. And we can just do the base of the skull. Oops. Then. Um, Go ahead and do another one he's got here. He's got like divides from our sphere, our neck, to a clavicle from the front, to our scapulas. Just divide it. Yeah, there's really not a lot of explanation. Go ahead and clean it up a little bit. Um, and then draw the actual muscle. So there's a diamond shape that um, separates it there. And And then this is half our dagger shape. And then we have a anchor point. Our anchor point. Um, now we talk about the volume of the, the, the pinch and the stretch pushing back, pushing forward. So um, I'll go ahead and draw our sphere. Clavicle from the front. It's like we're like looking through. We're going to do our neck. We're going to do our rib cage. All right. Now he's got the scapula going back, 
And then this is going into space, stretching. We're still not moving anywhere. Um, go ahead with our pencil and draw the shapes these guys here. So this is moving back. then that's moving forward. To a wrapping line. Now you really can't tell what's going on unless you draw the arms. So this is going into space. And this is going back. So uh, let me get some aloe so you can see a little better. But it's there in the drawing that he's got. Um, then we can add volume to that. But um, I guess the, the rib cage goes in too. I don't know if I cut that right. Let's do the one where it's um it's got it uh use a space here. So we've got a sphere sign on and, and we'll do our dagger, just do our dagger shape. This is where the clavicles and the scapulas, this is where the scapulas go down and, and that, uh, in that space. So go ahead and lean this up. So the clavicles, I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, scapulas are going this way. Let's go ahead and draw our So that's where scapulas. So it's like you, you're uh, pushing your, your arms back by your shoulders. Um, And then um, go ahead and draw this. So we got our diamond shape here. This is our clavicles. Go ahead and draw the arms going back. And then we'll go ahead and do our wrapping lines. So now that we have um, that figured out, let's go ahead and look at some real photos of um, the um, trapezius. So we do a, go ahead and do our sphere, our center line, go to our neck, clavicle from the front. Now, let's determine where our scapulas are. So the scapulas look like they're right around here. And um, we'll go ahead and draw our dagger. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of the shoulders. Now, I'm going to take our new technique we learned with our, our Scott's paper towel. I'll go ahead and get some more dust. 
So I'm going to do my. So I've got these ridges. Look how cool that is. Look how simple it is. And then I'll go in and do some highlights. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, this one. Go ahead and do our sphere. Sound. Clavicle from the front. Okay. So we don't really don't see the um, scapula because there's there's so much muscle going on there. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and do the dagger shape. And then this is coming back. So there's like some pinching going on there. You know, you can go really go in and look at all the shapes with the shadows. There's a lot of shadow going on there. Yeah. A lot of pinching going on there, but there's a lot of um, Shadows <laughs> Go on with an eraser and just punch out some highlights. Okay, let's do one more. So we got our sphere, center line, oh, from the front. Let's do a rib cage. Let's go ahead and do our neck, our shoulders. Okay. So here is really pinched. We have. We'll go ahead and do our dagger shape. It's really going in the recesses. And you got the tail. It almost looks like the front, but it goes it goes down into space. Yeah, this is really, I'm kind of going into uncharted territory right here. I'm just, I'm just looking at this and kind of uh, determining um, the shapes as far as the recesses, where it's going in. And it's going to go down there. This is so cool. I really, really love this. And it's so cheap too. Um, I'll put a link in the description for where to find this. I got, I got these big lots. It's like uh, six bucks for six rolls. And those rolls probably best me a lifetime. Uh, go ahead and do some highlights.
Yeah. Um, so we're just we're just using where so where would our our dagger be will be somewhere in this vicinity. So so anyway, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing. It helps a small YouTuber like myself um, grow. And um, it helps me um, reach um, um, search engines and stuff like that. You know, so just give it a like. If you look at this, just please give it a like, um, please. Um, I know these videos um, get about 300 views. So it's nothing compared to what's going on out there, but please, I just, if you, if you can't leave a comment, just please leave a like. I really appreciate it. So thanks again. God bless you, and we'll see you next time.